Hi, I'm Jim Berthold from OLI Systems, and today we're going to talk about water samples and OLI FlowSheet. The screen before you is OLI FlowSheet version 11, and we're going to start by first adding a water sample. This is cations and anions, which are from a lab someplace, and we're going to use it here in the software. We're going to start off by using the menu item analysis and add a water analysis. So those of you who are used to OLI Studio, this is very similar to uh, other programs. Uh, we're currently just showing in the old OLI tag name. I'm going to switch it to formula just so it's a little easier. And I have some sample data. This is a standardized seawater sample, which I'm just going to be putting in cations and anions. I'm doing it one at a time. There are multiple copy and pastes work as well. Okay, and this particular sample has no iron. And then we'll add the cations. And I think that's it for this one. Uh, we can then uh, do some other analysis here. I'm actually in the uh, aqueous framework. I'm going to switch to quickly to the MSE framework and go back to my sample here, and it should be an MSE. Now we have to tell the program how to reconcile this. There may be a, a net difference in positive and negative charges here, so we're going to pick our dominant ion method to reconcile this. So if there's too much positive charge, it picks the biggest negative charge and so forth. And you can see it's actually already balancing it. So you can see here that the chloride ion is different. If I had switched to proridal cations, you see that they changed and so forth. But we'll go back to dominant ion. That's the best. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and calculate it. We have some options here. We're going to use the default concentration data only. But if I knew the CO2 content in the vat gas phase, or I knew the measured pH and alkalinity, or total inorganic carbon, I could add them here. Uh, I don't actually know them for any of this, so I'm just going to use calculation, uh, concentration data only. We'll go ahead and calculate it. And it'll take a moment or two to uh, actually calculate. And it's done. And we can see what the calculated stream looks like by hitting the calculated button. And this tells us a lot about what happened internally. So it did tell us that we had to add chloride ion to make the sample electrically neutral. We're actually done with the reconciliation for this particular case. Uh, we can actually go back to flow sheet now. And here I'm just going to set up a simple mixer okay, with a single inlet stream and a single outlet stream. Okay. But when I talk about stream S1, I can actually uh, tell the program to use the ionic input option. Now I could have started here, but I wanted to show you the uh, water analysis to start with. And here, I'll just click that button, and what's the source of the ionic input? I already have it. It's called water analysis 1. And I'm going to go ahead and pick it. But you saw that, that there's actually ability to create a new one as well. So we can create it from here as well. Oh, um, yeah, so this is actually an error message. Um, when we go to create these species, we create some molecular representations. Uh, and they're missing here. Uh, I'll just click this button here to update them. We'll add it to the chemistry. And we're done. We'll create a total flow here of just 100, and we're ready. Okay. Uh, chemistry is here. Chemistry is still on the C, and we're able to run it. I don't like that. And we're done. So if you have any questions, uh, please contact OLI through our portal at portal.olisystems.com. Thank you.